Okay, welcome back everyone to our Patterns of Play series uh, with our special guest Omar Maguid. So this uh, um, thing aspect that we're going to teach you now um, is something I like to call kind of transitions. So it's really to help you uh, find different ways to get control of the tee. Uh, particularly if you're the person that's behind your opponent, you're in a deeper position in the court. Obviously, accuracy is a big part of being able to move your opponent from the tee, good depth, good length. But um, just because you're behind your opponent, you can find ways to take away their time, rush them, and that's another way of gaining control of the tee. So think of the back of the court in kind of three positions. You've got kind of near the glass wall where you're obviously pinned back, you're in more defensive. You've got the mid area, which is the back of the service box, and then you've actually got the tee position itself, the high tee. Now, when me and Omar now are doing a length rally, what we're gonna be looking to do is if we're the person behind our opponent in position, we're gonna be looking for those moments where our opponent plays the shorter ball or shorter length uh, that we can intercept with a half volley or we can even step up behind them and intercept their length ball with a volley itself, taking time away from them and making that quick transition between, for instance, me being behind Omar to suddenly being able to be in front. Okay, this is a great uh, alternative to being more dominant in the game and taking more control of the team. All right, so let's have a look at us playing the length game and uh, see if we can give some good examples for you guys back at home. All right, here we go. Full length. Last one then, Omar. Yeah. See if we can demonstrate that half volley one as well. Uh, drop. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to stop there on that one then. Lucky man. Okay. Let's have a little review of that then. So, well, firstly, I'm playing a pretty big guy. So it's pretty difficult to move him from the tee. But you can see like that when you're the person stood at the back or deeper than uh, your opponent, it's not a passive position. You need to be looking for every opportunity or possible loose ball or weaker shot that you can intercept with a volley, take earlier on the back of the service boxes, and that way you have a bit more chance, especially when I'm playing someone with good reach like Omar, to get him off the tee, get him out of his volley position. Um, what would you say putting through that uh, scenario was? Well, what, what came to your awareness during that uh, exercise? I think it's a good way to get out of pressure. 
uh, and it's also it also surprises whoever is on the tee, especially if they're used to being on the tee like me, because I'm always trying to volley and always trying to push my opponent to the back. So um, like the cross court volley you hit off the forehand, that surprised me and twisting me in that way. Is, Kind of what I don't really like while I'm playing. So, yeah. Don't give away all the secrets, eh? <laughs> yeah, good. All right, awesome. You know, it's just think differently. It's not just a positive and a negative position. Both areas have opportunities and possibilities to transition and get that dominance over the tee that everyone in the game requires. Okay? Good luck. Love to hear about how it goes. And uh, thanks again, Omar. Cheers, Cheers mate.